Happy Friday, everyone. From Governor DeWine's new proposed gun laws to entertainment venues at the banks. But up first, Bengals fans, you're not happy. Was it really Marvin Lewis? Or is it Bengals, the players? Put the blame where it belongs. You act like this new coach was going to come in and be a big white knight. All the while, it wasn't even Marvin Lewis's fault. It's some lousy bingo players who get paid millions of dollars and can't do their job. Well, again, another loss. When is Coach Taylor eventually going to get a fullback to block for the running backs who aren't worth a darn this year? Joe Nixon just doesn't have the size to be an excellent running back. Put some weight on. But when you hit that line, you need somebody in front of you to open up the hole other than the lineman. Revamp the team. What you got is not working now, and you know it. A fullback, use tight ends, and change quarterbacks. And get rid of Drake Kirkpatrick. The Bengals are never going anywhere until they get rid of Candy Dalton. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine detailed his legislative plans to curb gun violence. Every criminal, no matter what, has already broken the law. If they get a gun, another law will not them make them be any safer or obey the law. It's just ludicrous. Go after the criminals and you'll end gun violence. Don, Butler County, I think you ought to leave the uh, gun laws alone, Second Amendments. Just leave them alone. Everything will be all right if you leave them alone. Uh, it's not the gun that's causing the problem. It's the people. And he removed the red flag issue when he's doing a background check. It's words out in the air. It means absolutely nothing. This I don't approve at all. There were a couple callers upset about the ongoing wrangling for a deal to expand a tailgate area and create a new entertainment venue near Paul Brown Stadium. I can't believe yet another business is going to have to move in Cincinnati to build something else. Now Hilltop is going to have to move to build this stupid entertainment district. I thought people knew you don't pay for extra things like entertainment venues until you pay for the basics. And the things we need in Hamilton County include improvements in infrastructure, improvements in safety. Why compete with Covington? You haven't even seen if their venue is going to be successful yet. And finally, I'd like to know what happened to Steve Riley. I miss seeing him. Thank you. Ma'am, I can tell you that Steve will, in fact, return with bells on Monday afternoon starting at 4 o'clock. And if you ever have an opinion about a story, call the hotline at 513-852-4998. You know